Well, hello, young artists. My name is Miss Ellis, and I am your art teacher. Welcome to your first art class. Today, you're gonna get out your sketchbook. I made it just for you to mark in, and nobody else. We're gonna do our art lessons in this sketchbook, and I'm gonna show you today what not to do in this extra sketchbook that I made. And then I've got a really big sketchbook, so when I draw today, you can see better what I'm doing, but you're gonna work in your sketchbook. We are gonna learn three things today. We are going to learn the element of art called line. We are going to learn about tools, artist tools, and we're gonna learn about symbols, and we're gonna make a symbol today. So let's look at your sketchbook. Remember, I made it just for you. Please take good care of it. We have enough pages for all the lessons that we're gonna do the first nine weeks of school. When you open the sketchbook, this is the cover. It's just made out of a piece of cardstock that I folded in half. And then there's a note that I wrote you. Get a grown up to read that to you. I signed it for you and drew a heart for you right there. And then I've got a note for the grown-ups that might be helping you or the grown-ups that you live with. And then I'm gonna turn one page. This is just for you to watch right now. Just watch me. On the back of this, I'm not gonna put anything there. And this is what our first lesson is gonna look like in your sketchbook. So we're gonna make dots and lines today. That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna practice. Let me show you what not to do. This is an extra sketchbook that I made, and when you open it up, it's got scribbles. Well, scribbles are fun to make. It's like taking your crayon and running around in crazy circles all over your paper. They are fun to make, but for our lessons and our really nice sketchbook that you're gonna take good care of, we're gonna try to not scribble in it. If you feel like all you can do is scribble and you don't know how to hold a pencil or a crayon, well, we're gonna practice all that. So let's get started. In your sketchbook, I want you to just turn one page, lay your sketchbook down on a table, or you could draw in the floor. You just don't want your mark to come off and get on the floor or the rug or the table. You wanna kinda of be careful. And we're gonna practice just holding one of these tools. Here are some of my tools. I've got crayons today. I've got a uh, Sharpie. I'm not gonna use the Sharpie and I don't want you to use a Sharpie right now either. Let's leave those for later. I got a pencil, I've got a brand new pencil. It's not even sharpened yet. And I really would like for you to use a pencil. I'm not gonna use a pencil because if I make marks on this big sketchbook with a pencil, you won't be able to see them very well. I've got a mechanical pencil. I'll show you how it works. See, I made a mark, but it's not very thick and it's not very dark. It might be kind of hard to see. And then I've got a pen. Today, I'm gonna use a pen. I want you to use a pencil and you could use a crayon. I'm gonna use some crayons too. So let's make the easiest mark in the world that there is to make. A famous artist said, a line is a dot that you take for a walk. I have a dog named Fiona. I take her for walks sometimes. So I'm gonna take the lid off my pen. I always put the lid back on the pen if you have a pen like this, and that way I don't lose it. And I'm gonna make the easiest mark in the world that there is to make. It's like this, boop, just gonna make a dot. So I'm gonna put the pen to the paper and I'm gonna make a dot. Now, if you're not sure how to hold it, well, let me show you. This is kind of silly, but I just pretend I'm gonna pinch something, like if you pinch your, pinch your nose. Sounds funny when I talk like that. So I'm gonna practice pinching. I've got three other fingers. I'm gonna curl them up, like they're gonna take a little nap. And then this is my little pillow. I know that's silly, but that's how I think of it. And then I take this part of my hand, the little, pillow kind of place on my hand and I lay that on the paper. So when I'm making a mark on a sketchbook or any paper, it's like that. So I'm 
got my sketchbook standing up tall so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take this part of my hand and let it just lay on the paper and I'm gonna make another dot. I'm gonna wiggle it a little more and make it bigger. You make a dot and then make a bigger dot. I'm gonna make an even bigger dot like that. Now I'm gonna move my hand over. I'm just gonna slide it and I'm gonna make another dot and another dot and another dot. And I'm just practicing. And now I've got a line of dots. We call that a dotted line. Now I'm gonna make a line. I'm gonna make another dot first. Remember, a line is a dot that you take for a walk. So here we go. I'm gonna put my pen to the paper and I'm gonna drag the pen down. And I made my first line. Now you can make one. I'm going to go across like that. That line lays down. And then I'm gonna put my pen to the paper to make a little dot. And I'm gonna go down the slide, Whee! like that. All of these are lines. All of these lines are straight. They're not perfectly straight, that's okay. If I wanna make a perfectly straight line, I use another tool called a ruler. Don't worry about that right now. Now I'm gonna make another straight line, but it's gonna bend like this. That's called a zigzag. I'm gonna make another one. Like that. Now, I'm gonna make a different kind of line. These are all straight lines. Now I'm gonna make a curvy line. We're just practicing. So I'm gonna make a dot by touching the pen to the paper, and I'm gonna go like that. And I just made a little curve. I think I'm gonna put my pen away now and switch. And I'm gonna add another element of art called color. I'm gonna make a curve again, and now I'm gonna curve the other way. Now I got a challenge for you. I'm gonna do a double curve. Check this out. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go this way. And then I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna go the other way, like that. And you may have seen that before. That line is a letter of the alphabet and you may already know what that's called. You may already know that's called an S. And it is a symbol. There's that other thing we're gonna to learn today about symbols. This line is a symbol for a sound and the sound goes s like snake or snow. So this is a symbol for a sound. I've got one more challenge and I think it would be fun if I switch color. And I'm gonna make a loop. Now this is harder. So I'm gonna slow down. You should slow down too. I'm gonna lay my hand on its little pillow and I'm gonna loop like that. And now this is really hard. I'm gonna go the other way like that. I didn't do a scribble. I've got all kinds of lines. That's one element of art and I've got some color. I've got a red and kind of a turquoise blue. So we've got straight lines today dotted line, zigzag, curves, and even a loop. We're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna make another symbol. Have you ever seen a stop sign? It is shaped, it has a shape, and it has a color. They're all red, and they're all shaped like an octagon. It's okay if you don't know what an octagon is, but when you see a stop sign or when a driver in a car sees a stop sign, they're supposed to what? They're supposed to Stop. So that symbol has a meaning. So we are going to make a symbol on our page and it's right down here at the bottom. Oh, I hope you can see that. I just made a line and a dot. And that means one, number one, first page, page one of your very important sketchbook. Now you already maybe have practiced. It's a line and a dot. So go to the bottom corner, right here. Go to the bottom corner of your sketchbook. 
I'm going to go right about here and I'm going to make a line. Here I go. Straight down and then make a little dot. You don't really have to make the dot right there. And now you've numbered your page. Page one of your sketchbook. If you want to draw along with me, and I hope you do, then when you go to my haiku page, which is on your teacher's haiku page, you will see Google Meet. We will meet in a virtual classroom, like on the computer, every Monday and Thursday at 9 a.m. You just click on that button or click on that link and it will bring you to the art classroom. And then we can practice all kinds of things together. I hope you'll join me Mondays and Thursdays at 9 a.m. I hope to see you there. Bye.